defense or not defense? This question can make or break relationships between neighbors. The quick and short answer to this question is yes, there should be a fence separating your yard from the neighbor's yard. Remember the old saying that good fences make good neighbors? Also think back to Wilson, the neighbor on the old home improvement show. Well, stay tuned and I'll explain why a fence is a good idea and some details that you should be aware of before starting on a fence project. Hi, this is Bruce here again from Homes and Life to help you learn more about topics that affect your life, like real estate, RVs, outdoor activities, and more. And welcome to the new subscribers and thanks to you existing subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate if you clicked on the subscribe and thumbs up buttons down below. So, why would someone want to fence their yard off? Well, first off, a well-built fence is usually quite good at keeping some things in the yard and other things out of the yard. If you have kids or pets and want them to have freedom to play on their own, Fences are good at providing boundaries for them to do so. They also discourage others from taking shortcuts through your yard. You know, a large dog behind a fence may create a memory that a trespasser might not forget. And although wild animals can and do occasionally climb fences, they usually tend to walk on by. Inside the yard, Cross fences can be good for separating areas like gardens or swimming pools. And in some towns, the codes may require a fence around the swimming pool. And privacy is an added benefit of fences. Before moving ahead with the fence project, there are a few things that should be done first. Top of the list here is a property survey. You may already have one. But if you don't, then it's a really good idea to get one. That way people know where the line is and whose property is whose. Most people will build the fence right on that line and often neighbors will share the cost to build that fence. And they'll also share the maintenance. Others will build the fence just a few inches on their own side of the property line so that the cost of the fence and the style of the fence is their choice. And if relations are not great with the neighbors, then a type of fence that could be installed from your side of the property line without trespassing on their side, that would be a good idea. In addition to the survey, a check should be done with the city or the town to determine if permits are needed and what regulations govern fence construction. They may have a height regulation or a, a style of fence, but it can also be dangerous and expensive if you start digging the fence post holes without locating the utilities. Remember to click before you dig and a company will come out and locate those utilities for you. There are many types of fences and numerous ways to build these fences. I'm not going to go into detail on all the different styles of fences other than to mention that the fence could be made of wood, it could be vinyl or chain link, page wire, welded wire, and maybe even decorative aluminum or iron fences. Even trees or decorative hedges may serve the purpose of a fence. Some countries will also use rocks and bricks or concrete for fences. But what you'll find is that building supply stores like Lowe's or Home Depot, or even fencing contractors, can all show you different styles of fencing. They'll have different examples, different pictures, and that'll help you to decide what works best for you. And of course, YouTube is another great resource. In addition to the different styles of fences, the posts can also be different materials. You can choose from wooden posts, usually a pressure treated post, 
or metal pipes or pre-drilled metal shaped posts. In most cases, they're gonna be set into a hole in the ground and filled with either dry concrete that's tamped or wet concrete that's poured into the hole to hold the post. There is a product that some people are using that's an expanding foam. It's mixed in a bag and then poured into the hole. Some say it works quite well. I haven't used it, I haven't tried it, so I'm reserving judgment on that until I have tried it. And to make things simpler, occasionally the metal shaped posts get pounded into the ground and then the fencing material is attached. Now I know that some of you will be asking if a fence increases your property value. The answer here is yes, but possibly not as much as the cost of having the fence built. It will, however, increase the desirability of your property as most people want a fence and would be happy to not have to build one. Also, while you're living there, the fence will increase your enjoyment of your yard. Well, I hope I've given you something to think about in regards to fences and making good neighbors. If you'd like to see other videos that we have coming, please click the subscribe button and the bell down below in order to be notified when the next video comes out. Meanwhile, remember, life is an adventure. I'll talk to you again soon.